Hey everyone, Tim here from QBKing77.com here to do a video showing you how to uh, force uh, roam your Sprint Samsung Galaxy S3 and your Sprint Samsung Galaxy Note 2 on Verizon's network. Um, I do this when I'm at my house, the reason being because I get terrible signal in my house. I cannot even be on a call for over five minutes without it being dropped. You'll see my Note 2 right here is where my number is actually. Uh, and you'll see I have absolutely no bars right now. And that's exactly how it is when I'm at my house, which is where I'm at right now. So you'll see I have uh, no signal bars at all. And I find that uh, force roaming on Verizon's network allows for uh, calls to work. Also, you, you will use Verizon's 3G data. I do want to make a quick note that uh, Sprint does say you have unlimited uh, roaming, but you do not. Actually, if you use it too much, if you abuse it, um, I know you can get a warning email from them. You know, they can also uh, terminate your contract. So just a heads up there, use it at your own risk. I also want to make one more quick note that if you do uh, follow this method, if you are on a Verizon PRL, then 4G LTE will not work. So just kind of keep that in mind. Um, you can easily switch back and forth between a Verizon PRL and a Sprint PRL. Uh, the reason being because uh, you can just update it and what I do is when I'm at my house I'm on a Verizon PRL and when I'm out I'm on a Sprint PRL because I get uh, 4G LTE at on campus and other various places where I go. So now what I'm going to do is show you guys uh, how to flash it. First of all it does not matter if you're on stock you need to be on a TouchWiz ROM. Uh, again as I said it works on the S3 and the Note 2. Uh, so, the, and I don't know of any other phone that this does work for, but it, only the Sprint variants of these two phones. So uh, it doesn't matter if you're rooted or not. Uh, I'm not actually not rooted on my Note 2 at the moment, so it does not matter. First of all, I want to show you really quick how you can check what PRL you are on. You can go ahead and go into Settings, scroll all the way down, go to About Device, and then up at the top select Status. And then scroll down and you'll see up at the top what your PRL version is. You'll see mine is 55009, which is probably what yours is on. That would be the latest Sprint PRL at the moment. Uh, so that is the latest one. Uh, otherwise, though, you will uh, be able to check here to see if your PRL did get updated properly. So uh, now what we're going to want to do is click on the link in the description of the video. Clicking on the link, it's going to look very similar to this. You'll see a big download button. Click on that. It will download a zip file. That zip file um, is going to look like this. So you'll see I have the zip file called PRL right there. What you're going to want to do is double click on that PRL zip and it will open up uh, this. And inside you'll see a folder called PRL. What I want you guys to do is just click and drag that folder onto your desktop. So uh, inside that PRL folder, you will see various PRL files. Uh, the top four are all modded uh, Verizon PRLs that will force roam on Verizon. The bottom one is the latest Sprint PRL. So uh, just kind of keep that in mind. So uh, what we can do is uh, we'll grab that PRL folder. And what I want you to do is click and drag it over to your Note 2. So you can plug your Note 2 into your PC. Okay, so you see I plugged in my Note 2 right here on the right side. What you want to do is click and drag that folder to the phone, the internal storage of the device, not on your external storage. Make sure it is the internal. So when you go to your phone, you will see the PRL folder has been added. Now you can just go ahead and eject your phone. Okay, and once you have that folder on your Note 2 now, what we're going to want to do is actually go into our app drawer, and then you'll go into the My Files application or any other file manager that you uh, like to use. Go to All Files, and then go to SD Card Zero, and then you'll see that PRL folder there. What you're going to want to do is select it, and inside you'll see all the various PRLs that I did point out. Uh, previously so uh, to flash a PRL what you need to do is actually rename it or go ahead and select whichever one you want to do I included all four of these in the zip just so you can test all of them out yourself and find out which one works the best I have found that uh, this 1337 one works the best for me so I'm gonna hold it and I'm gonna copy it I'm gonna copy that file go back to my SD card and then hit paste here so I'm gonna paste it on the root of my internal storage so you'll see it's there and it's also in the PRL folder but you need it on the root of your internal storage uh, once you put it on the root of your internal storage press and hold on it rename it and rename it to TEST in all caps. So T-E-S-T, 
um, and then just go ahead and hit OK. So you'll see it's called test.prl. That is what uh, is necessary to write the PRL before I uh, show you the command that you need to type in. But with any PRL, you need to make sure it says test PRL and it's on the root of the internal storage. So that's how you write a PRL, whether you're using the Sprint one or the Verizon one. You need to always name it test.prl just like this. Anyways, uh, once you have that on your uh, internal storage of your device, what I recommend doing is before you flash a PRL is going to system update and actually updating your PRL. I found that sometimes it does not stick, uh, so keep that in mind, but it generally sticks more if you update your PRL before you uh, flash it. So keep that in mind again that it does not stick sometimes, so you might do it, it doesn't stick. Um, reboot your phone, just kind of keep trying there. It does. Uh, it can be a little finicky and it doesn't always uh, want to stay on your device. But anyways, once you have uh, gone ahead and updated your PRL, go into the phone application, brings up your dialer. And again, this works on the S3 as I noted before. Um, and the dialer code that you want to type in is pound pound 3282 or data. So 3282 to which uh, obviously stands for data and then hit pound again to finish it it brings up this data programming screen now go ahead and select view and once you hit view you will see an option that's called prl write down there i do want to make a note i'm not going to do it on the s3 because my number isn't on the s3 at the moment so but you will see there is a prl write option on there but anyways on the note 2 I want to make a note that if you have updated to L that Elite LK8 build, they've actually removed the PRL right from the menu. If you do want to get this back and you want to stay on LK8, then what you can do is actually um, root your device, install a custom recovery, and I'll link to where you can actually uh, re-enable it by flashing a zip through Twerp Recovery or Clockwork Mod or whatever you have. Um, so I'll, sh I'll link to that in the description of the video, some instructions for that. But anyways, uh, all you have to do is select PRL Write and select PRL Write once more. And what it's going to do is reboot my phone. So what it, uh, now it's writing the manually writing the PRL to my phone. And once it boots back up, I should be on that Verizon PRL. As I said, it can be finicky at times. Um, so I'll be back once it's done booting back up. All right, so my phone has booted back up, and you will see now right up at the top, right away, I have full signal bars there. So there's the difference between zero and full. Uh, I know right away that the PRL has been flashed because of that, but I can go ahead and show you guys real quick. Just to double check, we can go ahead and go into settings, and then scroll down again, go to about device and status. And up at the top, you will see a PRL version 1337. It did work just fine. I am now uh, roaming on Verizon's network. So that's it. Um, again, take heed to those precautions that I did mention earlier on in the video. This should work just fine in the S3 and the Note 2. If you have any questions at all, feel free to ask. Just leave a comment. Be sure to subscribe to me as well. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. All right, and I don't know if you guys have stuck around this long, but I did want to make show you guys something real quick. You will see this is actually my account. I've actually used more uh, Sprint 3G data roaming than I have actual just Sprint data. The reason being because when I'm out, I actually use LTE um, around my uh, in my area where I go. I'm always on LTE. Otherwise, when I come home, I just uh, type in that Verizon PRL and uh, roam on Verizon. So there you have it, uh, showing you that it does work just fine.